Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm TK Brew. We're going to talk about the, how to unlock the Poltergeist class in under 25 minutes and some tips on how to use it most effectively. That last tip is the one that's going to help you the most in your Battle Royale gameplay, so stay tuned. There are seven challenges to do to get the Poltergeist class. You don't have to do all of them, but you definitely have to do some of them. The first one is play five matches, drive 300 meters, last 20 or 20 minutes in total inside the gameplay, use this class skill four times, slide 40 meters, finish top 15 twice, and kill 15 enemies. Now you can see you need to at least play the game for 20 minutes, and we said you could probably finish this in under 25. So here is my strategy to finish this challenge in under 25 minutes, and it should work for basically everybody. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to jump into, you're going to want to do the five gameplay games, you're going to want to do the 300 meters, 20 minutes, class four times, slide 40, we're going to skip top 15 twice, and we'll explain why in a second, and then kill 15 enemies. What the kill 15 enemies means is you just have to kill three enemies per game. So because you're doing five, three times five is 15, you want to do that. And then once you're onto your fourth game, you can check how much time you need left to finish the game. So you should be able to finish off five matches, 20 minutes, and 15 kills quite easily. And then the drive 300 meters, very simple. And each game, you just have to make sure you drop your class ones and slide 40 meters, which really you can finish off in one game, which means we want to skip the top 15. And you're probably wondering why, because that seems a lot easier than doing five games. But you must realize you can just kill three people and then die and then start a new game a lot quicker than you could probably do two top 15. The reason why I don't like doing top 15 is because you don't know when you're actually going to be top 15. If you play solos, sure, if there's 15 people left, you are top 15. But if you're playing duos, you can never tell. And if you're playing squads, you can't tell until the announcer says there's five teams left or whatever. You really don't know if you're top 15 because there could be a lot of people jumping in there as solos or duos inside your squads or duo matches. So this one's really hard to figure out when you achieved it until the game is over so if you can control more variables it's a lot easier to do so if you do all of them except for the top 15 getting three enemy three kills per game finishing five games each you should be able to finish it in about 25 minutes lastly we're going to talk about those five tips that will help you use your poltergeist class to the max the first tip is you must know you're not completely invisible I know it's like an invisibility, but there is still like an outline and silhouette of you running around that is just translucent. Think of the cloak inside of Halo, because sometimes when you're playing the original Halo, you're cloaked, but you can still see the faint silhouette of someone. It's so you, it's more like if you're quickly glancing over someplace, you might not be able to notice that they're there. The second thing you need to know is it provides a great speed boost to your character when Poltergeist is activated. I've calculated it to be approximately about a 10% boost. I'm not exactly 100% sure what it actually is, but from what I've tested out, it turned out to be about a 10% speed boost, which means will help you outrun storms, help you get out of the storm faster, and even outrun bad guys. But make sure if you're going to be popping it to run away or to outrun something, always pull out your knife to run with it, and you'll get a very big speed boost. Like I said, at least 10%, if not more. Number three if you're under attack, don't pop it off in the open because obviously you're translucent and they can still see a silhouette from you. What you want to do is find cover if you can, pop it there, and then run away because then it's going to be a lot harder for the enemies to know if you're, a, if you're still hiding behind the rock, tree, bush, wall, wherever you're hiding behind. And B, it will help you get away a lot quicker when they can't shoot at you right away. So I would pop it off not when, you're, when someone's looking at you, but when you're behind cover because it will allow you to get away and make them more confused of where you went. If you like these tips, you'll probably like other videos I've done on tips as well for COD Mobile, so you should probably check those out. Number four, when you're in your poltergeist, you want to make sure you don't get too close to enemies because when you do, warning signs will start appearing on their screen saying that there's somebody cloaked in nearby, which really defeats the purpose of being cloaked. So make sure you stay your distance back so they don't get this warning that you're nearby. 
Lastly, and the most important tip, the one you've been sticking around for is as soon as you fire your weapon or use your knife, your poltergeist class is going to deactivate, decloak, whatever you want to call it. You're going to be shining like a star for everyone to see as soon as you do one of those things. So make sure you're going to want to decloak when you want to decloak and not when you accidentally fire, use your knife. So make sure you use it properly and follow these tips up above and you should be able to be mastering this poltergeist class very very quickly i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe if you guys have other videos ideas for me you can always leave those down in the comments down below i would love to cover anything and everything according to cod mobile and i would love to hear from you guys so hope you guys have a great rest of your day i'll catch you guys later bye